All right, now that we have a puppet rigged and ready to roll, time to have some fun customizing it with Adobe Illustrator. So if you've been waiting to create your own puppet for Character Animator, now is the time. This tutorial is going to cover a lot of customization, and it's really important to understand three things about this. Number one, you really do want to start learning this app with a pre-built sort of rigged or tagged character. With that in mind, if you were hoping to work with a female character, I have added that to the resources. Uh, so if I go to File and Import, notice that you also have Roberta. So in addition to Rob, we also have Roberta. And you can see, there she is. And you're gonna wanna look at the previous video to lock the base down and maybe change some of the properties for the face. Okay, so you have that option. And I should also point out that there are a bunch of great options on Adobe's Character Animator website, as well as Heads of Curriculum, which has a ton of great puppets for free as well. Okay, so starting with all the tags sort of named correctly, will save you from a lot of rigging issues. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that this workflow that I'm about to show you is gonna work in Illustrator or Photoshop. So these are both Illustrator files, so that's why I get the AI button there. But if it was a Photoshop puppet, you would launch Photoshop with this. So that's the second thing. The third thing to note is that this workflow is non-linear. That is, if I were to do a recording and change the puppet, the source puppet in Illustrator Photoshop, the puppet would actually change with the recording in place. You don't have to re-record, which is really great. So it's non-linear and that gives you a lot of flexibility. Okay, so. Now that we understand those options, let's hop in and do it. I'm gonna go ahead and click the Edit Original button for, let's go with Rob here. And here we are with Rob. So if you're not familiar with Adobe Illustrator, just a few things to point out. Uh, the black arrow is for selecting, and that is great, but if I'm trying to like say, change an eyebrow, that's not so great. If I wanna select just the eyebrow, the white, arrow would allow me to grab individual paths inside of a group. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna just work with a white arrow and we're just gonna play with the fill in stroke. So for example, if I wanted Rob to be alien Rob, I could actually select his head and I could change the fill. So the fill is over here. Uh, if I'm in Essentials Classic, I also get it here. It's also over here. So. There's a lot of redundancies in Illustrator. But I could choose another color, and you can see that if I make Rob blue, and I could, again, using the white arrow, I could hold down Shift and make his ears blue, and I could make his shirt, let's make it charcoal gray. <laughs> okay, so, and there's a couple other places we might also, you know, customize and play with here. But now that I've got, you know, Alien Rob ready to roll, I can just go to File and Save. And back at the ranch, in Character Animator, notice that Shazam. All the updates I made have been saved. If I look at my history, you can see that Incorporate External Edits is one of the steps. I could always go back and forth and say, do I like that or not? Let's say we leave it. Okay. If I wanted to, let's say, change some paths though, let's keep doing it. So I'm gonna go back to project and again, go to edit original. If I wanted his head to be more spiky, I could drag select over those anchor points. There may be two there, so that's why I drag selected give him a cone head. Uh, maybe I will switch to the black arrow now that I've selected that path. And maybe I'll squish his head. I'll hold down option here to squish it in. So now he's got a nice little cone head. Uh, if you're wondering about the ears, it looks like 
there is a little fill on there. So if you haven't played with Illustrator to get rid of the fill, you can always have none set. Uh, maybe for his goatee, maybe I want that to be green, right? So we could really get crazy with this, uh, not just with colors, but you know, with all sorts of stuff. So I could maybe hold down shift, grab a couple anchor points, give him some really pointy ears. And if I go to file and save, again, back in character animator, you can see that I'm starting to create my own character. I could delete the goatee, I could move or change the eye shape, I can do whatever I want here. And again, if I do a recording and then suddenly decide I want him to be orange, I just make it orange and it's automatically gonna be updated in that recording. We'll cover recording uh, exclusively in a couple other videos. So that is how you can customize a pre-existing and pre-rigged Illustrator file in Character Animator.